Hello, hello, hello! My name is Shansi and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I do everyday makeup looks, I do size 16 fashion and 50 shades of blonde hair because in every video I have different color blonde hair. Although this video is not about my hair dye, it's actually about the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. If you're curious, my hair today is a mix of, I did a um, Moroccan oil color depositing mask, so I mixed rose gold and platinum. So what I did is I put the platinum mask at my roots because they were getting a little bit warm and then I mixed both of them together for the rest of my hair and if you want to see how uh, I dyed my entire hair pink using the uh, rose gold I'll just link it above. Okay, back to our regular programming. I actually bought the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Hot Airbrush. I bought it on Black Friday on Amazon and I believe it was $50. Right now it's selling for $64.96 uh, Canadian on Amazon.ca. So I was seeing this all over um, YouTube and Instagram and I was like, I always struggle with, like, I always need a two-step process to do my hair, so I'll blow dry and then put curls in, um, or blow dry it, then straighten it, or air dry it, then put in some curls, um, and I just find, like, when I air dry my hair, my roots get really oily quickly, and then my hair is, like, really flat. So what I love about this is that it actually gives you a lot of great volume at the top, and uh, because it's one hand, you know, it's not a brush um, blow dryer like you don't have to be really dexterous to do this um, so the best part about this is that you hold on to this tip and you can rotate it and really pull so it usually takes me I haven't really timed myself I, I would bet like about 20 minutes to blow dry my hair I have a lot of hair it's very thick it's frizzy it's very dense um, so I'll just like fast forward through how I blow dry my hair with this thing and then we'll see the results So before I get started, uh, what I usually do is I just half my hair or I'll uh, do quarters and I'm going to start at the bottom. This hair is freshly washed and um, it's still damp. I have done this with um, semi dry damp hair um, and again I found that my roots got really oily so the look was like really uh, flat because this stuff gives mega volume. Okay, so although that felt like an eternity, that was only three minutes to do the bottom half of my hair, which either is a miracle or I've been miscalculating this whole time. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that I do find the cord a little bit short. Usually I'm in my bathroom, so it's, there's not that much distance, but I imagine it's about maybe six feet long, which doesn't seem that short, but it kind of is. Like right now, I'm struggling to like get some lift on it. I forgot to mention that this is a dual bristle brush so what that means is that you've got those little fine uh, bore bristles at the base and then you have the longer acrylic brush uh, bristles at the top so the top ones are meant to grab and hold and the bottom ones really help to smoothen out the hair and kind of really get into these little kinks so for example See, that already made a huge difference. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of scared of is I always wonder like how long are these bristles gonna last? Because on a really good brush, they last, I don't I don't know how many like actual uses, but I feel like I have to replace them every couple of years. So I would love to see Revlon make um, a version that is detachable where you can actually replace the brush because I feel like the tool itself is powerful enough and it just it'd be less wasteful so Revlon if you're listening what about making these refillable last thing before I keep going um, you'll notice that sometimes I do it from the top and from the bottom and it's because I'm really trying to grab at both ends because sometimes the roots stay a little moist 
and so because I have a lot of hair I could either like split it in smaller sections but because I'm lazy and ideally like I'm doing this in the morning I'm trying to save time it still works uh, but I'll like grab it from the top and grab it from underneath All right, you guys, I'm basically done, and the stopwatch says 11.03. So it only actually takes me about 10 minutes because of all the fussing around. It came up to 11, but 10 minutes, and I could basically get my hair blow-dried, which is kind of a miracle, and which means I can actually blow-dry my hair in the mornings and not go to work with uh, wet hair and then air-dry it and then fix it the next day and toss some curls and blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. Is it a salon blowout? Hales, no. Nothing replaces a salon blowout. Is it pretty damn good? Yes! Did I do it in 10 minutes? Yes! Um, is it affordable? Yes! It's like 50, 60 bucks. Um, so I'll do a little turn and I'll show you guys the finished look. I'm just really happy with it. It's finally like one tool, one heat process that I can do for my hair and it leaves it finishing like super soft. Also I've noticed that because it has a lot of uh, volume at the top, my roots don't get as oily because it kind of like lifts it off the head. Um, and if you do feel a little bit damp in the scalp, I have used just like my regular blow dryer to kind of really dry up the, the base um, of my hair. So for the sake of this video, I feel like I'm going to stop it right there. I don't think you guys need the nitty gritty. Um, oh, last thing I wanted to say is that I love me some volume back here. And it's like a spot that I can never get to. But what I love about this guy is like I could just grab a little piece. You know, flatten it out. Like brush it out first. Pop it right here. Put on the heat. And then you can even cool it so that it like locks it in place and then you'll have a nice little bouffant and then it's pretty. Anyways guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think of my hair and I'm actually really happy with the color too. <laughs> so don't forget you can watch that video as well. I'll link it um, in the videos that pop up up here, okay? Well thanks again for watching guys. It's always lovely to have you. Don't forget to subscribe. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I thought I would hit it by the end of the year. We're not there yet, but whatever. As long as you found this video and you found it helpful. So thanks guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.